Hello everyone, this is the development news of the H32B controller. This H32B controller has been on the market for many years. And this time we have updated the new firmware for this controller. Because sometimes you will make the projector for the motor and for the cutter. So you can use this uh, H32B for this motor and this track. And every two channel relay will control one motor. Because such as you can use the Relay 1 is on, Relay 2 is off for this direction and Relay 1 is off and Relay 2 is on and for the other directions but these two relay can't all on work at the same time because that will let your motor uh, broken or bad so maybe in Home Assistant you can set the interlock mode and that will be controlling the interlock mode by the software but this time we have designed this uh, new freeware for the H32B that can make sure, uh, make sure the tool relay will not work all on at the same time by the hardware. So the hardware will be more safety than the software to make sure the tool relay will not on at the, at the same time. And this time you can use every channel output set for the group in interlock mode. So before you use the switch terminal board, uh, and if you use the motor mode, so that all relays will, every two channel relay will work in motor mode. And this time, a relay uh, work in independently in different work mode. So such as you can use the relay one, relay two work in interlock mode, and relay so the three, relay four until relay 32 work in lamp mode. So just up to you, you can choose which relays uh, make in a group in a work in interlock mode. Okay, let's look at some details how to set this interlock in your web page. Here you can see this is H32B controller and this is switch terminal board because we have used the RS232 cable have connected together. And I have connected with this, this six gun wall switch button that is dry contact uh, to have connect with this, this board. Just uh, six gun have totally seven lines have connect with this terminal board. So you can see I can use this K1 to control the one and off and K2 and K3 and K4 and K5 and K6. So this all channel can work independently. And now let's look at the software. Here you can see we have the new firmware of 4.45 that have in at the interlock mode. So you can just download this freeware and how to download it to your controller. You can see our before video toy. And here you can download this freeware after we uh, up update it. You can see here the new interlock options will be displayed. I can log in by this network setting and you can see uh, this is a new version 4.45. And this time I can log in this interlock mode and log in. And here you can see some options uh, that have totally you can create 32 channel interlock group. Uh, actually, I think you not need to so much in interlock group. So that will be very easy. If you want to create a uh, group one, you want uh, uh, this just choose enable, disable to enable and that have 32 number. The number one, that means acti active, and the zero means deactive. So if you want channel one, relay one, and relay two work in interlock group, so you just use these two number. So every uh, others just change to zero. So if you have, I can copy this one. If you want, enable, if you want the 30, 32 and 31 with work in interlock mode. So just change this number. So let's test it. I can disable. Now we can test it easily. Just relay one and relay two. So you just save and we'll restart. Okay, now you, we can test with it. You can see I can turn on relay one by this one button and this is Relay 2 on, but we're out of the relay 1. Uh, let's look at, let's look at clearly.
Okay, I turn off relay, relay two. You can see here. Here you can see this is relay one on, relay one off. And this is relay two on, relay two off. So if I have turned on relay one, but this time I turn on, turn on relay two, you can see clearly. I turn, turn on relay two. So that you can see the relay one will out off. And this time the relay two is on. So this time I want to turn on relay one. You can see I can press this button. So this relay two will out off firstly and the relay one will be on. So you can see I can turn on relay one, uh, turn on relay two, relay one, relay two, relay one. Just will out off firstly. So this is in group mode. Okay, now let's test again. We can log in in our website. This time, if you want three relay work in interlock mode, so relay one, relay two, and relay three, you just uh, change this to one. So that three relay will be in interlock mode. So we can save. And now I can turn on relay one and turn on relay two and turn on relay three. You can see this three relay will not not work at the same time. But this relay 4, relay 5, relay 6 uh, can work independently. So this helps set to the interlock mode. If we want relay 1, relay 2, relay 3, relay 6 in group, so you can change any number to 1. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is relay 1, 2, 3, and the 6 will in interlock group. So you can see, I can save again. So you can see, I can turn on relay 1, relay 2, relay 3, relay 4, relay 5, relay 6, and the 6. When I turn on the 6, the 3 will be off. So I can turn off, turn off, turn off. So can, you can see, relay 1, 2, 3, 6 will not work at the same time. So that will protect the motor. So the six I can press again, that is off. So when I change different channel, will auto off uh, before relay output. And press again, that will be on off, on off. So this will be useful for your cotton motor and for this interlock function. Okay, thanks for watching.